ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಬಸವಲಿಂಗಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಕೆ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ಟರ್ಡೇ ವಿ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸೋ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೆಮ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸೋ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಓ ಹೈಪೋ ಹ್ಯಾಲಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಒನ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಟು ಆಸಿಡ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಓ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಪರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಸೊ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫೈವ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಓ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಎಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈಪೋ ಹ್ಯಾಲಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಒನ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಟು ಆಸಿಡ್ ಟು ನೋ ತ್ರೀ ದನ್ನ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಬ್ರೋಮಿನ್ ಅಯೋಡಿನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಫ್ ಒ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಒ ಎಫ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಟು ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಹೈಪೋ ಕ್ಲೋರಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಪರ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಓ ಹೆಚ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಓ ಟು ಹೆಚ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ದೆನ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ಸ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಹೈಪೋ ಬ್ರೋಮಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಬ್ರೋಮಸ್ ಬ್ರೋಮಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರ್ ಬ್ರೋಮಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಐ ಓ ಹೆಚ್ ಐ ಓ ಟು ದೆನ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಐ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಹೆಚ್ ಐ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಲೋಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಫ್ ಓ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಫ್ ಓ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಓ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಐಸ್ ವೆನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋ ಫ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಫ್ ಓ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಆಕ್ಸೋ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಜನರಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಆಕ್ಸೋ ಆಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವೆನ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟು ಓ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ವೆನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಓ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೈಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಹೈಪೋಕ್ಲೋರಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಮೊನಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಟು ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಇಯರ್ ಹೈಪೋಕ್ಲೋರಸ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಯಾನ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಗೆಟ್ ಅಯೋನೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಹೆಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಮೈನಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಜುಗೇಟ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಓ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೀಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್
undergo disproportionation. CLO minus undergo disproportionation to give Cl minus and ClO3 minus. Here when 3 moles of hypochlorite undergo disproportionation to give chloride as well as chlorate. If you consider here the oxidation number of chlorine is plus 1. Here the oxidation number of chlorine is minus 1. Here the oxidation number of chlorine is plus 5. Nothing but uh, this chlorine from, from plus 1 to minus 1, 2 electrons are added. Same chlorine from plus 1 to plus 5, 4 electrons are removed. Nothing but uh, one side it undergo reduction, other side it undergo oxidation. Thus, uh, hypochlorite, hypochlorite undergo disproportionation to give chloride as well as chlorate. Yeah, no. This step is important step here. Your preparations are not there and one of the property let us cover. So that is hypochlorous acid. In case of hypochlorous acid, suppose ClO minus is there. In ClO minus who is the central atom? Chlorine is the central atom. Oxygen is attached atom. Right. Now if it is the central atom, around the central atom how many atoms are attached? Only one atom is attached. So therefore, around the central atom, one atom is attached. Plus group number of central atom is 7. Oxidation number of central atom is 1 divided by 2. Already we know that these are the bond pairs of electrons. These are lone pairs of electrons. Now total number of pairs of electrons, 1 plus 3, 4. Therefore, S1, P3, SP3 hybridization. 1 plus 3. So, total number of pairs of electrons will become 4. Therefore, it undergo sp3 hybridization. In sp3 hybridization, 1 bond pair with 3 lone pair. We know that 1 bond pair with any number of lone pairs always linear in this geometry. Linear in shape. 1 bond pair with 3 lone pair. Clear? Na? Similarly, if you come to HClO2 is chlorous acid. This chlorous acid preparation will be whenever the barium hydroxide treated with chlorine dioxide in presence of hydrogen peroxide. Hmm? Barium hydroxide when treated with chlorine dioxide in presence of hydrogen peroxide here two moles of chlorine dioxide will come forward. So that uh, here barium chloride barium chloride clo2 add with barium so barium chloride if you consider oh taken twice nothing but two hydrogens two oxygens from which one water molecule here one water molecule hydrogen peroxide one water molecule so total two moles of h2o along with that here one oxygen left here also one nascent oxygen left oxygen and oxygen liberates water O2. Therefore, barium chlorate is formed. This barium chlorate on second step, barium chloride on second step with sulfuric acid get converted into barium sulfate along with the two moles of HClO2. Clear? There, hypochlorous acid is going to prepare when barium hydroxide is treated with chlorine dioxide in presence of hydrogen peroxide it convert into barium chloride along with that water and oxygen. That barium chloride when treated with sulfuric acid. Suppose ready made barium chloride is available for us. This BaClO2 taken twice when treated with the sulfuric acid convert into BaSO4 plus HClO2. In this way chlorous acid is prepared. Right? Uh, this chlorous acid HClO2 Ionize into H plus plus ClO2 minus huh? ClO2 minus. This is chloride. In chloride, central atom is chlorine again. Central atom is chlorine. Therefore, around the chlorine, how many atoms are attached? Two atoms are attached. Then group number of chlorine? Seven. And its oxidation number? Three. Na? X plus minus 2 into 2 minus 4. X minus 4 equal to minus 1. 
x equal to plus 3 that 3 we have to subtract from root number divided by 2 so therefore 2 plus 7 minus 3 4 by 2 is 2 only now 2 bond pair and 2 lone pairs of electrons are there total number of pairs of electrons 2 plus 2 4 so that 4 pairs will be s1 p3 it also undergo sp3 hybridization in sp3 hybridization with two bond pairs and two lone pairs bent or v shape or angular angular or bent or v shape two bond pair with two lone pairs clear na so this is hcl o2 and next chloric acid hcl o3 chloric acid this chloric acid directly when barium chlorate barium chlorate this barium chlorate reacts with sulfuric acid convert into chloric acid with barium sulfate barium chlorate reacts with sulfuric acid to give chloric acid with barium double displacement here ba is displaced hydrogens that's it this chlorate displaced by sulfate sulfate go with barium chlorate go with hydrogen that's chloric acid like this chloric acid is going to prepare right huh? so this chloric acid salts if we consider salts of the chloric acid suppose potassium chlorate huh? it is a familiar example many times we discussed with by taking uh, an example this on heating in presence of manganese dioxide it undergo decomposition during that decomposition what will get oxygen liberates clear na? so it decompose and liberate the oxygen gas clear na? so in this way the salts of this chloric acid when heated in presence of catalyst liberate the oxygen gas now this chloric acid HClO3 ionized to H plus and ClO3 minus is a chlorate ion. Chlorate. Now, in chlorate, the central atom is chlorine again. Around the central atom, three atoms are attached. Plus group number of chlorine is 7. Oxidation number of chlorine, 5 divided by 2. Therefore, 3 plus 1 total 4 again it undergo which hybridization sp3 hybridization sp3 hybridization with uh, three bond pairs and one lone pair is a pyramidal trigonal pyramidal clear no? so here chloric acid in which the central chlorine atom undergo sp3 hybridization and geometry deviated from original tetrahedral with presence of one lone pair of electron so therefore it is a trigonal pyramidal and finally perchloric acid perchloric acid is HClO4 how this perchloric acid is going to prepare when ammonium perchlorate NH4ClO4 ammonium perchlorate formula that only na? NH4 plus univalent perchlorate is minus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 therefore 1 cation is enough to form uh, ammonium perchlorate with perchlorate anion so that this ammonium perchlorate uh, when treated with nitric acid which is diluted diluted nitric acid when reacts with ammonium perchlorate uh, will give perchloric acid uh, along with that ammonium nitrate clear huh? so like this your perchloric acid is prepared ammonium perchlorate uh, treated with the dilute nitric acid will give us perchloric acid with ammonium nitrate now in place of that ammonium in place of that suppose potassium perchlorate if you take potassium perchlorate when treated with the concentrated sulfuric acid actually here perchlorate salt when treated with proton generating acid this proton will be shifted to perchlorate and you that's it so therefore potassium perchlorate when reacts with sulfuric acid two moles of potassium perchlorate is required it get converted into two moles of perchloric acid along with that potassium sulfate clear now in this way here 
potassium perchlorate is going to um, potassium perchlorate with the acidification sulfuric acid convert into perchloric acid here among all perchloric acid is a dimer sometimes they are going to ask dimer here cl double bond o double bond o double bond o with oh this is only in a perchloric acid in case of perchloric acid here hclo4 ionized to give h plus plus clo4 minus in case of clo4 minus around the central atom four atoms are attached group number of chlorine seven oxidation number also seven by two equal to four plus zero 4 bond pair with 0 lone pair. Total number of pairs of electrons are 4. sp3 hybridization without lone pair. Original structure. Original structure is tetrahedral. So, this is a tetrahedral. Right? Huh? And another perchloric acid, if you consider, another perchloric acid is uh, in this way. It is also a tetrahedral. Now, through intermolecular hydrogen bonding, through intermolecular hydrogen bonding between hydrogen atom of one molecule and other higher electronegative atom of oxygen belong to another molecule, there exists very weak electrostatic attractive force. Through intermolecular hydrogen bonding, here perchloric acid exists as a dimer. Clear, na? So, these are oxy acids of chlorine and other oxy acids of chlorine regarding our syllabus point of view not much important chlorine oxy acids are important clear na? so these are oxy acids in these oxy acids some applicative questions also they may ask suppose HClO if you consider HClO in HClO, ClOH actually or HOCl, HOCl, why ClOH I wrote, central atom should be left side, attached atom should be right side, clear na? Now this is OH, OH link with chlorine as a monovalent or multivalent, as a monovalent, already this oxygen divalent from which one monovalent linked with hydrogen another molecular left therefore we can expect it as cl oh along with that three lone pairs are there clear na? now its acidic nature is going to prove whenever this bond is going to cleave like this therefore no pi bonds in hypochlorous acid no pi bonds suppose if it is hclo2 again in case of hclo2 cl OH, one more will be as a double bond O. Now, here two lone pairs are there. Two lone pairs with two bond pairs. Around this total four pairs. Four. One, two, three, four. Therefore, sp3 hybridization with two bond pairs and two lone pairs angular in geometry. It is a linear. It is angular. In this case, one pi bond is there. Clear, na? One pi bond. Suppose HClO3 is there. HClO3, ClOH is common. Now, here one double bond O, here one double bond O with one lone pair. Huh? Three dimensionally imagine this, like this pyramidal, in this way. One is double bond O, double bond O with OH. So, therefore, it is two pi bonds are there. Here zero pi bond, here one pi bond, here two pi bonds. Similarly, if you go to perchloric acid, Cl, one OH is common. Here double bond O, double bond O, here also double bond O. No lone pairs of electrons. Huh? Now, heptavalency of chlorine is satisfied. No lone pairs of electrons. So, therefore, here it is tetrahedral geometry, is no deviated original structure. Now, here one, two, three, three pi bonds are there. In order to make the pi bonds, which kind of electron from chlorine is participating in lateral overlapping? There they are going to ask. See, without confusing, one of the complex molecule only let us discuss. Remaining you can easily follow. In this case, chlorine is a plus 7. Oxidation number of chlorine is plus 7. 
Uh, in that case, see, CL, atomic number 17 with neon 3s2, 3pxy1y1z1 and 3dxy. See, here 3s2, 3px2, 3py2, 3pz1. Original. Correct? Huh? Now, here these three lone pairs should enter into an excitation state. Therefore, chlorine electronic configuration in third excitation state. Correct? Huh? Chlorine electronic configuration in third excitation state will become like this only. Correct? Huh? Huh? In these, how many bond pairs of electrons are there? Four. Four bond pairs. Four bond pairs with three lone pairs of electrons. Correct? Huh? Four bond pairs undergo sp3 hybridization it is s px py pz s px py and then pz so therefore undergo sp3 hybridization sp3 hybridization with three unpaired electrons in d orbital only na? now these three unpaired electrons must overlap with the unpaired electron containing pz orbital of oxygen atom laterally therefore three pi bonds are there na? Each oxygen here, each oxygen is having three oxygens are having double bond. One in double bond, in one this double bond, one bond is linearly overlap with this unpaired electron. Now sp3 total four unpaired electrons are there. Now chlorine one, two, three, four, four unpaired electrons linear overlapping. Along with that, dxy, dyz, dzx. Therefore, this is the dxy, dyz, dzx. Clear, no? Now, d orbital is involved in later overlapping. Uh, d orbital is involved in later overlapping of oxygen and per electron. Oxygen is what? 2s2, 2px2, py1, pz1. Right? py1 already involved with the linear overlapping of chlorine. Now, pz is one unpaired. That unpaired electron of PZ here laterally overlaps with DXY, DYZ, and DZX electrons of chlorine. Follow down. Here, chlorine, these four electrons are sigma bonds. Suppose this is the chlorine having four. Uh, undergo sp3 hybridization, I told you. So, this is one sp3, second sp3, and third sp3 and fourth sp3 now with this oxygen py with this oxygen py with this oxygen py with this oxygen py and this oxygen is also having a pz every oxygen is having pz that pz is with unpaired electron or not pz is with unpaired electron with this pz hydrogen s orbital overlap like this this is the hydrogen huh? now this oxygen divalency is satisfied now here overlapping here also overlapping now remaining three oxygen atoms one pz is vacant vacant means without involved having unpaired electron overlapping no now here d from d orbital how many unpaired electrons are there three on this center if I draw double dumbbell shaped D, it will become highly complex. Therefore, you imagine three dimensionally. So, here this is like this laterally overlap with DXY. Here it is laterally overlap with DYZ. Hmm? Then it is laterally overlap with DZX. Therefore, this is sigma bond, it is pi bond. Now, this is sigma bond, it is pi bond sigma bond pi bond here sigma and sigma linear overlapping only in s orbital huh? sigma and sigma now you imagine this chlorine central 3d orbitals therefore this pi bond is there see from oxygen p pi correct huh? pz hai na? this is a pz and from chlorine d therefore p pi d pi one p pi d pi lateral overlapping here second p pi p pi d pi third p pi d pi so now total 3 pi d p or p d correct huh? and here total 1 2 3 4 sigma huh? so now 4 sigma 
sp3p correct sp3 from air side p from oxygen side 4 sigma sp3p and 1 sigma p and s this is p it is s 1 sigma p and s 4 sigma sp3p 3 pi dp clear like this sir in oxo acids sir remaining you can imagine easily huh? here only second excitation state huh? nothing but here one lone pair here one lone pair as it is now here electron will not jump huh? so therefore in case of second excitation state huh? just here only i will rub and explain in case of second excitation state huh? here this lone pair as it is huh? therefore here one unpaired electron could not jump huh? Now undergo sp3 hybridization. Nothing but uh, one of the oxygen is with lone pair of chlorine. On chlorine, one of the oxygen is with lone pair. Here, yes, lone pair is there, no? In second excitation state, this lone pair as it is. And uh, this is lone pair. These are the bond pairs, therefore, pyramidal in shape only, no? In that case, 2 pi dp. 2 pi dp and then 3 sigma sp3p 1 sigma sp like that if you come to one more in that way you can expect a so depending on excitation depending on excitation how many d unpaired electrons are there those involved in lateral overlapping regarding this they may ask the question how many so on so oxo acid possess how many pi dp bonds clear just you practice then definitely you can get clarity so these are oxo acids of 17th group elements clear and next uh, the last sub concept left in this lesson will be interhalogen compounds interhalogen compounds hmm. interhalogen compounds internal antargata suppose uh, Interhalogen compounds uh, here one X or else X2 if you take X2 reacts with uh, X dash 2. If it is one halogen, it is other halogen. Total four halogens we have. Those four halogens are fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. In that uh, one of it I fixed as X2, other fixed as X2 dash it is going to yield x x dash x x dash taken n with the multiple of m x2 when reacts with x2 dash nothing but this here x2 is atomicity no? here also atomicity because divalent thus here m and n is going to decide m and n are going to decide the formulas clear na x x dash it is interhalide internal halide that is interhalogen compound uh, interhalogen compound uh, in which uh, whatever x is there this x must be larger in atomic size x dash must be smaller in atomic size concept clear na x uh, here x is larger in atomic size why left side whatever the atom we are writing that must lose electron that is electro positive right side what we write what we are writing that is going to take who is going to take an electron readily smaller the size of atom if atom size is smaller then effective nuclear charge will be more the distance from the nucleus to outermost orbit will be less therefore easily that can accept an electron who is going to lose an electron larger size therefore x is larger size halogen atom x dash is smaller size halogen atom now you can imagine fluorine never be acts as x because it is smaller correct huh? fluorine never be acts as x suppose if it acts as x it has to lose electron is that f is going to lose electron 100 percent not possible now generalization followed huh? suppose this concept clearly if you know uh, later you will not do the mistakes suppose interhalides uh, as uh, uh, chlorine when reacts with fluorine we may get uh, 2 Cl F 2 is M here F 1 is M correct huh? here M equal to 2 and N equal to 1 huh? 
ക്ലോറിൻ മോണോഫ്ലോറൈഡ് ക്ലോറിൻ മോണോഫ്ലോറൈഡ് നൗ യർ ബ്രോമിൻ വെൻ റിയാക്ട്സ് വിത്ത് ഫ്ലോറിൻ മേ ഗിവ് ടു ബി ആർ എഫ് വൺ അയോഡിൻ റിയാക്ട്സ് വിത്ത് ഫ്ലോറിൻ ടു ഗിവ് ടു ഐ എഫ് വൺ വൺ കൈൻഡ് ജനറലി ഇയർ എക്സ് എക്സ് ഡാഷ് വൺ കമ എക്സ് എക്സ് ഡാഷ് ത്രീ എക്സ് എക്സ് ഡാഷ് ഫൈവ് എക്സ് എക്സ് ഡാഷ് സെവൻ ദീസ് ഫോർ കൈൻഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇന്റർണൽ ഹാലറ്റ്സ് ആർ പോസിബിൾ കറക്റ്റ് ദീസ് ഫോർ കൈൻഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇന്റർണൽ ഹാലറ്റ്സ് ആർ പോസിബിൾ വൺ മോർ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ഐ ടെൽ യു ഒബ്സർവ് ജസ്റ്റ് ബൈ ലുക്കിംഗ് യു ക്യാൻ ഇമാജിൻ ഹിയർ ആസ് ദ റേഷ്യോ ഓഫ് റേഡിയൈ of the larger size x atom to the smaller size x dash atom follow da here x radii to the x dash radii ratio of here radii of x to radii of x dash if this is increasing whatever the inter halogen compound is forming in that more number of atoms held suppose iodine if i take is a larger in size x huh? fluorine if i take smaller in size smaller size enter into denominator larger size enter into numerator at that time the ratio will become more and more na so as the ratio of larger size halogen atom to the smaller size halogen atom increases then in that internal halide or inter halogen compound more number of halogen atoms are going to present nothing but in this combination all total possibility if7 is possible that is xx-7 xx-7 only the maximum total 8 atoms are there now one iodine and seven fluorine now iodine atomic radii will be very much high fluorine very much small very much high to very much small ratio is a bigger value now as the ratio of radii of x to the radii of x dash if increases in that inter halogen compound more number of halogen atoms we may find clear na based on this concept you have to keep nothing but suppose if i take cl and f suppose cl to when reacts with f2 under condition can i expect it as clf7 why clf7 is not stable suppose uh, under condition if we prepared uh, it may exist uh, when the condition is withdrawn again it will give back because cl atomic radii f atomic radii difference is not much the ratio of the atomic radii of cl to the atomic radii of f value is not bigger if that is not bigger in that internal halogen compound internal halide more number of halogen atoms we may not find therefore clf7 is not much stable compared with if7 clear na suppose no there generalization question if they ask which among the following is more predominant at that time what we have to do the ratio of atomic radii of x atom to the atomic radii of x dash atom nothing but larger size atomic at, atom atomic radii of an atom to the smaller size atom of atomic radii ratio if increases stability is more and more number of atoms we may find clear na so here this is one slot as x x dash formula now x x dash 3 is there see huh? almost all chlorine reacts with f2 here equimolar ratio of halogen atoms 1 is to 1 molar ratio 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 here cl2 with 3 moles excess of fluorine excess of fluorine it get convert into 2 moles of clf3 clear na 2 moles of clf3 similarly br2 also able to form with 3 moles of fluorine 2 moles of br f3 and i2 iodine with 3 moles of f2 now 2 moles of i f3 clear na in these three compounds which compound further reacts with excess of fluorine to give more number of halogen atoms containing compound i f3 
right huh? directly halogen atoms in elementary form they may, they may combine to give like this inter halogen compounds later here suppose clf3 is there this clf3 further reacts with fluorine get converted into clf5 hello huh? cl2 plus 3f2 gives 2 clf3 we may think that cl2 plus 5f2 to give 2 clf5 right huh? but uh, cl2 plus 5f2 to give 2 clf5 compulsory should form through clf3 only na? therefore at clf3 it attains some stability and further enhancing condition that the clf3 further reacts with the halogen to give clf5 followed huh? so here inter halogen compounds we may get a direct treatment of halogens as elementary form or else lower inter halogen compound when further treated with just a halogen compound to give higher number of or more number of halogen atoms containing inter halogen compound or higher oxidation number containing inter halogen compounds definitely in all the cases whatever the x dash is there always minus 1 clear huh? whatever the inter halogen compound is there in that x dash is always minus 1 x oxidation number only going to vary that uh, fluorine losing electron never possible so that x never be f f could not act as x hmm? then excluding x cl br and i right in that way trihalide chlorine trifluoride bromine trifluoride iodine trifluoride right clf3 with f2 clf5 and finally when iodine reacts with directly 7 moles of F2 get converted into 2 moles of IF7. Some condition will be 523 Kelvin to 573 Kelvin. <coughs> Under this condition, iodine reacts with 7 moles of fluorine to give IF7. Clear, right? So, in this way, interhalogen compounds are going to prepare. Now, compare with halogens compare with halogens inter halogen compounds are more reactive point you have to underline compare with halogens inter halogen compounds are more reactive except fluorine f2 is a halogen that halogen is highly reactive even compared with inter halogen compounds excluding this f2 remaining halogens less reactive compared with inter halogen compound clear no Fluorine as halogen is more reactive, excluding F2, remaining interhalogen compounds are more reactive than remaining three halogens, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Compare with them, interhalogen compounds are more reactive. F2 is individually more reactive. Here, interhalogen compounds, some bond dissociation will be very easy. Suppose if you take Cl and Cl, or else Cl and F. Here electron activity difference is there. Here electron activity difference is not there. It is a covalent. This shared pair of electron whatever is there equally, equally shared by both the bonded atoms. But here unequal sharing is there. Suppose if you consider BrCl, here also these two are different atoms or BrCl3, if you consider BrCl3 unequal. So, therefore, here due to difference in electronegativity, it is reactive. The shared pair of electrons are not exactly shared by both the bonded atoms. These two bonded atoms are not exactly shared. Nothing but a shared pair of electron tries to withdraw towards more electronegative atom side. Whenever it is withdrawn towards more electronegative atom side, then definitely polarity taking place. When the molecule is polar, reactivity is increasing. Clear, na? Except fluorine. Why fluorine is more reactive? Even though here homoatomic molecule. Correct? Both the atoms are same. But the thing is due to small size, anomaly, anomalous behavior of fluorine. Due to small size, three lone pairs of electrons on this fluorine atom, three lone pairs of electrons are this fluorine atom. Among those pairs of electrons, repulsions are very strong. Due to the stronger repulsive forces, it readily involves in a chemical bond. Clear. So, these are the reactivity of interhalogen compounds. Clear. And uh, 
geometry. Again here, like oxo acids, let us check x x dash. No doubt, no confusion. X is a central atom. X dash is attached atom. Or X is with larger atomic size. X dash is a smaller atomic size. Similar with oxo acids, this X is a central atom. Around it, how many atoms are attached? Only one atom attached. One atom plus group number of X. Halogen is seven. Then what is the oxidation number of this? One. It is X. It is minus one. X minus one equal to zero. X equal to one. So therefore, one we have to subtract. Does one bond pair with the three lone pairs? Correct. Huh? One bond pair with the three lone pairs. Total number of pairs of electrons are four. Sp3 hybridization. Sp3 hybridization with one bond pair and three lone pairs is a linear in geometry. Clear? Huh? Linear in geometry. Similarly, x x three dash if you consider. It is the central atom. Around it, how many atoms are attached? Three, three, na? No? Around it, three atoms are attached. Group number of central atom seven. Its oxidation number three. Here minus one into three, therefore plus three divided by two. So three plus seven minus three four by two will be two. Three plus two will be five. Five will be S one P three D one. Huh? One plus three four plus one. Five, so sp3 dehybridization. Tell me, sp3 dehybridization with three bond pairs and two lone pairs. T shape. Sp3 d will be trigonal, three gonals and two pyramids abound below. Here, this trigonal planar. This is a planar above one pyramidal and below one pyramid. Right? In this case, here. This is central. Central it is X. Now it is X dash, X dash, then X dash. So therefore, your lone pair these two. That it is a T shape only, na? Three bond pairs with two lone pairs. X X dash. Now X X dash five. X X dash five. In this case, around the central atom, five atoms are attached. Group number of this will be seven minus oxidation number five, because it is a monovalent. Five are there, so it is plus five divided by two. So now five plus one, seven minus five two, two by two is one. Five plus one will be six. S one P three D two, S P three D two hybridization. sp3 d2 hybridization with five bond pairs and one lone pair it is not original is a deviated right huh? deviated here actually it is octahedron clear na like this huh? in this case one of it is a lone pair this is a lone pair if it is x here one x dash here one x dash here one x dash And x dash here also x dash. Therefore, what is this? Square pyramidal. This is the square. It is pyramidal. Correct? Huh? Here, this is the planar square. And above it will be one is there. Is a square pyramidal. That square pyramidal is a distorted or deviated structure from octahedral. Clear? Huh? So therefore, here in X X five, X X dash five type, nothing but a C L F five is there. Huh? In C L F five geometry, how can we say? Huh? In this C L undergo S P three D two hybridization, but with five bond pair and one lone pair. Five bond pair and one lone pair always deviated. It is not original. Thus, deviated from the octahedral will be square pyramidal. Clear? Huh? Similarly, x x dash seven. Ah, x x dash seven. Around central atom, seven atoms are attached. Seven. Hmm? Oxidation number of x seven only. So group number of x minus this will become here seven plus zero. Clear, na? So total number of pairs of electrons seven. Seven out of seven are bond pair. Therefore, hybridization is sp3d3. 
sp 3 d 3 is sp 3 d 3 distorted octahedral you can say or geometry pentagonal bipyramidal pentagonal bipyramidal five gonals are there five gonals will be like this five gonals and two pyramids correct two pyramids if it is x if it is x now these are x dash 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 like this right so regarding inter halogen compounds in this way their preparation geometry reactivity more number of atoms more number of atoms in inter halogen compounds how, how going to form as the ratio of atomic radii of larger atomic size halogen to the smaller atomic size halogen increases the number of atoms present in that inter halogen compound also increases stability also increases clear na so this is a 17th group elements according to your ncrt clear na so mainly first in this lesson what we covered who are the elements why these the name halogen term has come who are the elements their atomic number their mass number general physical characteristics followed by general chemical properties general physical as well as general chemical properties then after conclusion of that next chlorine you have in your syllabus chlorine methods of preparation properties uses followed by hydrochloric acid or hydrogen chloride methods of preparation only one method is covered uh, according to glaber advised then uh, hydrochloric acid preparation then its uh, properties uh, properties mainly aquarisia properties are very important uh, gold as well as platinum is going to dissolve the main reason to dissolution of that gold and platinum due to the formation of complex ions clear na no? aquarisia what is aquarisia composition why that is going to form along with that with the salts how that is uh, hydrochloric acid is going to react hmm? then with the bases how hydrochloric acid is going to react covered and the next fluorine as a general chemical property only you consider suppose uh, sir fluorine is not there in uh, syllabus uh, ncrt syllabus uh, but on fluorine question has come sir that question based on general chemical properties clear na general chemical properties <laughs> then next uh, oxo acids four kinds hxo hxo2 hxo3 hxo4 hmm? actually in your syllabus preparation and property also not there just geometry then uh, the pi bonds in what way are there p pi p pi p pi d pi and sigma and then uh, interhalogen compounds clear na the oxides of chlorine also covered cl2o clo2 cl2o3 cl 204 cl206 cl207 clear now so their preparation properties uses we have to cover with this p block 17th group elements we concluded and next class we are going to discuss entrance questions on them those entrance questions i will display on screen and on screen itself by reading that question you can observe uh, this is visible even through online also to your mobiles uh, we may send that plan is going on mm? right thank you